Hey guys, and welcome back. I have no makeup on today. I kind of look like a mess. It's been a really stressful week. Haven't felt well, and I feel like it definitely shows. Got some breakouts going on, some new, some kind of going away. And I thought I would take the time today to show you guys what I do for my nighttime skincare routine. Or really, it's just my don't leave the house skincare routine. I also thought that this would be a good time to try out, I have a new facial brush that I want to see how it works, if it's just as good as the one that I reviewed before, which by the way I use all the time in the shower. It is so helpful and you know just kind of go from there. I did say that this was my I don't go out of the house skincare routine as well and that is because one of the products that I use doesn't totally absorb into my skin at least it to me it doesn't feel like it does so I prefer not to put makeup on top of it because it just kind of starts getting messy it feels extra oily and I already have oily skin so we don't we don't need any more of that as you noticed earlier I have already taken my makeup off but I didn't wash my face and that is because I figured like I said this would also be a good time to try out this new facial brush. So this is the Duvall Radiant Spin Care System and this is the box. I took the product out. I'll show you guys in a second. But this is really similar to the one that I reviewed previously. I have a video for it and I'll link it up here if you're interested. From, I forget the brand, but no, no it was e Terror UT. I had such a hard time pronouncing it, but it's a really good product and I enjoy it and I still use it. I'm interested to see how this one compares to that one. So this is what it comes with. This is the actual brush unit and there's four brush heads. But instead of there being four just like the small heads, you have one giant one, which I thought was kind of cool. And this is supposed to be for your body. So this isn't just a facial thing. This can be used all over. So when I actually hop in the shower later, I'm definitely going to try this out, but for today, since we're focusing on skincare, specifically the face, we're going to focus on these two right here. There's an exfoliating brush head and there's like a daily use brush head. So I think we're going to start out with the daily use one. I will say these are really soft. This one, I think this is a daily use one. This is softer than the other one, so I'm guessing daily use, but oh, this is... This is nice. This does take four AA batteries, and I had to go fishing for a fourth because I only had three. But they go in here at the bottom. Let me see if I can open this for you without the batteries flying out. Yeah, so there are two on each side stacked on top of each other. And these heads look pretty easy to insert. It looks like you just pop them in. That was easy. My favorite cleanser is this Bulldog Oil Control Face Wash. I don't care that it says it's for men. I love it. It is the only cleanser that I feel like it really deep cleaned my skin and it gets rid of every single trace of makeup. Even stuff that like my makeup remover, my waterproof makeup remover doesn't, doesn't pick up. This stuff does. I don't, I don't know how they do it. It's not an ad for them, I just really like the product. So I'm going to take a little bit of this cleanser and I am going to plop it on this brush head. And I have a washcloth here on standby so we're not just going to be like making a giant mess. And this, this is the on and off switch here. So I have a mirror off to the side, I guess we're just going to try it out. The brush head is really, really soft. This this is definitely the everyday brush head. I especially like these brushes. I know this is weird, but it really gets around the sides of my nose well, and that's where I tend to have like the only dry skin on my face. I'm also liking that this, it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it only goes one speed. Yeah, it's like on and off. 
but the speed that it goes naturally is not too fast and not too slow. When it goes too fast, you just kind of feel like, oh my god, what am I doing to my face? I like this. This was, it was so soft and it felt really good on your skin. The only thing is it doesn't come with like a, uh, like a travel thing. So you'd have to find like a little bag or something to put it in. There's no little case, but pretty nice and I like the speed of it. All right, so I don't do this every single day, but usually a couple of times a week, by a couple, I really mean two or three if I remember. I like to go in after I cleanse, but before I do anything else, with these go-to exfoliating swipeys. That is the actual name of the product. They're swipeys. It says they're foolproof exfoliating pads for glowing skin. You get 50 in here, and there's nothing gritty about it. It's a chemical exfoliator. It's soaked into these little pads right here. And I think it's let me double check before I tell you something wrong. Each pad is soaked in gentle, naturally occurring AHAs, which is lactic acid, as well as ultra hydrating essential oils to leave skin looking and feeling fresh, glowy, and hydrated. Now, I'm not a huge fan of essential oils. I don't, I mean, me personally, because I have so many allergies, the more things that I can eliminate from my products the better and I don't really feel like essential oils are essential. But I don't really notice a smell or anything and these haven't irritated my skin so we'll give it a pass for now. So what I'm gonna do is take one, one little swipey and what you're supposed to do is cleanse your skin with it and then once you're completely done you're supposed to leave it on for 60 seconds and then wipe it off. While I wait those 60 seconds, um, there is a warning on here. Not really a warning, this is alert. But this product contains an alpha hydroxy acid, which is the AHA, that's the lactic acid, that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn. I'm a vampire, so I burn already, so I always have something on with an SPF in it. But if you are gonna use any kind of chemical exfoliant, Definitely, I mean, just in general, just wear sunscreen, protect your face. Before we go in with a serum or anything, like I said, and I'm sure you've noticed by this point, I have two big blemishes. I have one that is going away, it's healing, doing a lot better. This one here, brand new, just popped up this morning. I like to go in with the Kiehl's Blue Herbal Spot Treatment with Salicylic Acid. And this is what it looks like. Basically, if you feel a spot coming on and you put this on at night in the morning, totally gone. I have had such success with this. And like this one just appeared out of nowhere. When I put this on, go to bed, wake up in the morning, it'll be significantly less annoying and less awful looking. <laughs> so I like to take just the teensiest bit and do it right on the skin, right there and just kind of pat it in and I will pat that one in as well. I'm kind of getting to the age where fine lines and wrinkles are getting to be a thing and not just something that you're thinking about happening later and this has really helped me. I've noticed especially under my eyes and this eye in particular where I have these surgery scars they look so much less prominent, they don't look as deep. Everything around my eyes especially, just, it feels so much firmer, so much plumper, just really healthy and a little younger looking. So I like to do three drops, so one on my forehead and one on each cheek. And I just rub that in with my fingers. After the serum, I go in with my facial moisturizer, and I've been really enjoying the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, and I'm using this tiny one that actually came as part of my Sephora birthday gift. Just like the serum, I do this in three spots. So I do a little plop here, a little plop here, and then one more plop on the forehead. And again, I just gently rub that in with my fingers. 
And lastly, after going in with my Drunk Elephant Cream, I go in with an eye cream. It's taken me a long time to find an eye cream that doesn't irritate my eyes. <laughs> I am allergic to everything. Some of it I know, some of it I don't know. And every eye cream that I've tried, I immediately start tearing up. You know, just even keeping it as far away from my eye as I can, it, I, it, my eyes just couldn't handle it. But they really don't mind this one. This is Youth to the People. And this is the Kale and Aloe Sunflower Oil Tripeptide 5 Eye Cream. This has, I think I've had this for about two months now. I have barely used anything in this pot. It is so concentrated. All you need is like this tiny, teeny, tiny little bit. And I just pat it under my eyes. This is also something that dries down really nicely. It dries down pretty dry, actually, but it feels so hydrating that I can also wear this under my makeup and it is totally fine. Now, the purpose of this video was not for me to tell you, oh my god, you need to go out and buy this stuff. I just really wanted to show you what has been working for me. Since you guys know I have such sensitive skin and I've had problems with a lot of different skincare products in the past that this is actually working for me and you know I just never thought I would finally find a combination of products that don't bother me and I think a lot of the things that are excluded when you consider clean beauty are what I have bad reactions to and I think that's why these are working so well for me I'm not pushing a crunchy granola lifestyle on y'all or anything don't worry just wanted to show y'all if you have some problems like I do really sensitive skin any kind of skin sensitivity then these products have been working really well and they're so gentle and also if you guys were interested in the radiant skincare system that I tested out earlier in the video which was this right here Duvall Brands was kind enough to send me a discount code for y'all to test it out on your own it's not an affiliate link, I don't make anything from it, it's really just a code for your benefit, but it'll save you 70% off your purchase if you do decide to test it out. It's originally $95, and I believe with the 70%, it comes down to something very affordable, like $27. So if you're looking for something like this, but you didn't want to shell out, all that money this is a really good opportunity to give it a shot if you guys did like this video don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what some of your favorite skincare products are I'm always looking to try different things and it's always interesting to see what works for some people and what works for others I hope you guys are having an amazing week I will be on vacation next week but I will still have some content going up for y'all on Instagram and I'll hopefully have another video up, hopefully, but stay tuned. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.